Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Christian Leitner, who is the co op reward for this season in NBA 2K24. My team honestly looks like a really, really good card at the power forwards position or center, honestly. 6'11, really interesting stretch big, who's actually got a lot of bad versatility, good stats all the way around. Looks like a really good card, and I'm excited to see how good he really is. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it so christian Leitner at 611 power forward 99 offense 99 defense 88 driving layup 96 post fade post hook post control 97 close shot 98 mid range 96 three ball 94 free throw 85 standing and driving dunk 86 ball handle, 85 pass accuracy defensively honestly very solid too 92 block 95 interior 94 offensive and 95 defensive rebounding 88 speed 86 speed with ball 84 excel 90 vert 94 strength 95 stam 88 lateral quickness like great all-around card honestly 27 hoffs include honestly a bunch of interior bad is poster as a rise of agent three blinders catch and shoot dead eye limitless anchor post lockdown rebound chaser brick wall precision dunker whistle big gyro blow by bulldozer removable enforcer really good looking badges as well and then he pretty close to has every other badge on gold that you would want now there are a few missing uh specifically like space creator handles for days that type of stuff he doesn't get 94 feet at all you can add ankle braces hyperdrive handles for days ankle breakers all that type of stuff if you'd like to but Outside of the playmaking badges, really, and a couple, I guess, of those kind of perimeter ba badges like um, ankle braces and 94 feet, he's a really good looking. Oh, this is a Knicks team. I, I put, went into the wrong free team with freestyle, but um, he's a really good looking card all the way around. I just wonder, really, the main thing is how good is his release and how good is his movement? Those are the two main things that, again, in all honesty, they kind of are the thing that. They're the thing that really decides how good cards are going to be no matter what. Um, but. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Let me fix this, and then we'll hop into freestyle and see what his animations are looking like. All right. Checking out Leitner's animations here in free. Oh, why did they give him an... Oh. See, this is really annoying to me because it's not horrifically awful, I guess. The release is smooth enough and easy enough to agree, and he is very... Oh, my goodness. They gave him Jamal Murray behind the back, and... Oh my gosh, he has some sigs though. I will not be, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. He is moving out here. Does he, is that Trey escape Jamal Murray behind the back at 6'11"? If he had a little better release, he'd be the best, legitimately, like the best at the power forward position pretty much, or he'd be right at the top of the list anyway. This type of movement at this size with this player build and legit athleticism too, I mean, this card with some upgraded play big badges was is an actual is actually a complete dog and his release is smooth and easy to green it's just not fast and so it's going to be relatively easy to contest uh which means he's going to be kind of limited off the dribble now he will do some interesting things off the dribble simply because of his size at power forward and his versatility uh, and athletically he's also very capable so he's a legit slasher now obviously you're gonna need some playmaking badges to truly maximize his potential but having the elite drag back tray escape and jamal murray behind the back really makes him a dog it's just if he's releases a little faster he'd be crazy but honestly this card looks pretty similar to like a guy like alper and shingun is kind of the opinion that i'm getting doesn't have the playmaking badges as a base card but with some added i don't know man he's this card is gonna be a dog i'm excited to try him out this Leitner, he moves so well he's gonna be super fun to use i just wish his release was a little quicker i guess but it's obviously smooth and easy to green. He's looking like a dog in the top of no game. Let's see what Christian Leitner can do. All right, our opponent is Mel the Don in this gameplay, and admittedly not a very good team. Dyson Daniels and Dr. J is not a bad backcourt, but his front court, admittedly, is not all that good. Um, so hopefully he should be able to cook pretty easily, I would think, with uh, Mr. Leitner. He has D-Rob at center as well, but it's not the D-Rob that I have. So uh, let's come set me a pick and pop here, and let's get some spacing going. Um, between the legs burst here, he's hard off ball in the corner. What's new? Everybody plays like that, to be fair. Uh, same side burst, attack downhill. Leitner can definitely dribble. It's just without handles for days. He's kind of limited in terms of how well, I think. We'll take the assist there. I actually didn't get credit for an assist there. That wasn't great offense, though. Didn't really create anything for Leitner or anything like that, so... I just think he could create his own shot if he has the playmaking badge. He just doesn't have, especially handles for days. Handles for days is the one badge that he just really, really needs right now that he doesn't have. Um, good board, though. He's a great rebounder, obviously. And throw it up to Hondo. I could shoot this, but I'm not going to. Um, let's see. Actually, you know what? Come set me a screen. Let's go screen and roll. He's, he's what, six foot? You're a very large man. You should be able to uh, just slip to the rim and get yourself a dunk here. Yep, very good. 6'11", gets behind Dr. J. Easy standing duck. Hoff rise up. He's got a bunch of Hoff interior badges. And gets that to go. So he can get to the rim. He can dribble. He can dunk. And he can shoot. And that is like pretty much anything that everything that a card can do in my team. That's a good fade right there. Knocks it down with uh, Dice and Daniels. This dude doesn't have a great team, but he seems like a pretty solid player. Seems like he at least knows what he's doing. So hopefully... We can just have a really good game with Leitner, and um, hopefully he gets through these settings quickly, please. All right, thank you very much. Oh, okay, no, we got to do more settings. What? 
I, I what are you doing? I'm um, uh, okay. Interesting. I don't know what settings he's doing, to be honest, but you know what? Whatever. Um, let's attack the ram, and he's hard off balling in the corner, as everybody does. Very nice. Love to see that. Uh, come off the screen, and I had, I'm running. I'm out of stamina because I don't have handles for days. Again, you're just so much more limited. Y'all saw the SIGs in freestyle. He's got the SIGs. It's just, what can you, it's hard to do much with SIGs when you don't have, I don't know. Good, a good burst, though. Gets downhill, gets past Shengu, gets himself a dunk. He is pretty fast, and he does attack off the dribble pretty well. And gets downhill for another dunk, so very, very nice there. I just can't three-hunt with him the way that I'd like to. I would love to put the ball on the floor with him, but he just simply, without handles for days. That's kind of the way the game is, unfortunately, but good shot, Dyson Daniels. Um, that's just the way the game is. But badges run the game in a lot of ways, or they do, and they, they do at least early in the year. At this point in the year, maybe not quite so much, but when you're missing badges, it... I don't know. It's just like uh, he should not be ruined by not having handles for days, but he kind of is entirely almost as a player or as a, a, shot, a playmaker. Anyway, good catch and shoot three ball open wide open. Sorry, wide open pop and knocks it down. Very good shot. Christian Leitner stumbled over my words a little bit. But he's got seven points, one rebound. I feel like he's playing pretty well so far. So let's just play the slip. Oh, Lonzo, get me a steal. OK, never mind. We're fine. We'll come up here and play high. Now we're going to reject this. We're going to switch the screen, help out the corner. I helped too high. And I thought uh, Lonzo was going to slip and he didn't. This dude is pausing the game way too much for my liking right now well i mean he's about to get three times so i guess it's not that big of a deal but it's just kind of annoying when i'm trying to record the gameplay um can we finish this one up here we go let's get it let's keep hooping honestly leitner i just wish i could play make with him a lot more because he's got the sigs he just you can't what do you do when you have the sigs but you don't have the the badges I, I just you can't do it and that's that's a shame but i'm sure i don't know if you get this card you need to get the handles for days badge on him to get to get the full effect out of the card because he is really really good with it but not a very good offensive possession but i just backdoor shingun get myself a dunk because this game is not very skillful um and there you go we'll take the dunk with leitner again that was not a good possession but we got a bailout bucket because backdoors are op and he didn't click on to try to guard it so that part is his own fault that's a block look at leitner man he plays d too he's legitimately a really good defender half move on forcer half anchor all that type of stuff pretty decent perimeter badges because again he's really only missing anchor braces in 94 feet and he's such a smooth easy catch and shoot shooter even without the fastest release in the world he's a very good shooter and he's just hooping right now man 12 points one rebound just out here having himself a super solid game even without handles for days again handles for days will really elevate this card but bad shot there and this is going to turn floody if he doesn't get it under control very soon um i don't have handles for days but i do have uh i don't know i do have a takeover at least so uh i'm still just dribbling in place though oh my god what in the animation? Okay, I just got so slowed down, even on a wide open three there. I, oh, crab, wide open again. Knock this one down. Apparently not. Um, catch again. Pump fake. Chill. Pump fake this way. Now, chill. Behind the back. Relax. Swing. It's quick slip the screen because he's expecting a pop. And spacing wise. Post fade. I don't know. I don't have anything. I'm just shooting stuff. Beautiful post fade. Oh my goodness. Christian Leitner hits the post fade. Kind of caged here. So I'm just putting stuff up at this point. I just wish I had Anos for days, man. And a slightly faster release certainly would not hurt either. But I think the card is very usable even without the best release in the world. Just because his movement is so good. He's got such a big player build and he's such a solid card. I mean, he's having himself a heck of a game to be honest. So let's go pick and pop again, I guess. Attack downhill with that push cross Lonzo. Uh, pump fake. He overcloses out. Surprised, honestly, that wasn't a... Um, I'm surprised that wasn't a foul there, honestly, closing out with Shingun. But uh, attack downhill again, get to the rim and dump. Oh, dump it down. He is really tired. He would not be this tired. He would be pretty tired regardless, I think, because I've handled the ball with him a lot. But he would not be this tired with, again, the handles today's badge. But I think I've repeated that enough. Like, I think y'all are probably sick of hearing me say that at this point. Um, just got to play good defense, cut off the dribble drive. Good defense, help out the corner. We're fine. Honestly, it's just like, don't give up a three here. And I don't think we gave anything up at I was going to say, I don't think we gave anything up at all, but then apparently we did. So there you go. Um, we'll take the intentional foul. I don't... Auto foul in clutch online is so garbage. It does not work the way that it should at all, in my opinion, at least. Um, but regardless, we'll take the free throws. And this should pretty much do it for this game. I should have been 16 points, but I missed time the free throw and missed it. That's my bad. He's going to miss that, and that is going to do it for this game. He'll probably foul me again, actually. Yes, he will, because I'm only up five. You have to be up seven for the CPU to not auto foul. I don't, I don't know why that's the magic number, but that is the magic number. And then apparently my game glitches, so I don't green that free throw or hit that free throw either because apparently i shot a very early even though i definitely did not but you know what we're calling the game there because i don't want to get fouled again and have to shoot more free throws 16 points two rebounds one block six of nine two of four from three my again i don't think this is my best gameplay um talking wise but i do think this leitner card is very very good he was a very solid card so i hope y'all did enjoy this video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace